Everybody, this is 3 3 readings, and this reading is going to be for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see. What are the messages for you? Oops. Wheel of Fortune. Your card is already out. Uh, keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Um, you can also watch if you're a cross watcher, but you know, the roles can be reversed. Okay. Let's see. What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, some cards flipped out. What else? Something flipped here. Is that it? Is that all? I kind of think there was another one. I guess that's it. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Oh my God. If you're dealing with an air sign, <clears throat> you've cut them off. And I see it quite like, you know, it's right there in front of me. Speaking to me like Capricorn cut somebody off. So you decided to drop negativity. You decided to not be available for anybody who's going to take your emotions for granted. For anybody who is not going to be, you know, who's not going to reciprocate. Uh, I'm also kind of getting that you don't trust this person enough to do this with them. You're all about um, leaving the past in the past and believing in new beginnings. Some of you are trying to manifest new and better things in your life, Capricorn. Um, so you're definitely over here. I see you dropping somebody. I do, yeah. I do kind of see you dropping somebody. Yeah. Um... I feel like you're you, you're gonna close off to this person maybe yeah you're gonna close off to somebody you've made your decision here and i feel like you're gaining clarity by yourself in your life at the minute you know you're doing what works for you i did see that chariot so you could be dealing with a cancer however i see that that chariot is you taking decisions taking responsibility for your own life okay seven of cups capricorn there's a lot of confusion in this connection between you and somebody okay i feel like this this confusion is like you okay you no you are not the confusion i mean you are confused that this confusion is going in your head is what i mean so you are confused that this person always leaves me hanging and annoys me and you know just doesn't reciprocate is it even worth it or not then you get the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so no wonder it is i feel like there's some dissatisfaction in your life like there's a certain like certain situation that you're very dissatisfied about okay so you, it's pretty evident that you're dissatisfied about this love connection and you want to walk away or you already decided to walk away from somebody because you might have been the only one to work things out in the past or you might have been the only one to continuously put in the work put in the effort i feel like somebody lost your trust here like you're not trusting somebody you're doubting somebody you're doubting this could also be that somebody's going to come towards you with love and you're going to doubt it because you don't trust them enough and some of you are having a lot of things in your mind these days, Capricorn. Like you're doing, trying to do it all at once. Let's see. Okay. What happened in the past? Queen of Cups. Okay. Two of Ones. Okay. Um... I feel like this person, this is you, okay? This seems to be you with that Queen of Cups. Um, and your person is like very confused about where, you know, what to say, what to do at the right time to get you is what I'm seeing. So I do see a lot of confusion here because it, it's kind of like 
at some point in time there was a lot of love between the two of you but there were some issues and sadness and you know that brought you a lot of like you became moody about this whole situation let's see yeah look at that <clears throat> Somebody went cold on another person or this is just like somebody was acting cold and distant towards another person. Why is that King of Swords here? Let me clarify that. Why is that King of Swords here? Emperor. Okay, yeah, that kind of like ties in together because there was somebody in the equation. You were the more loving and caring one in this and the person that you're dealing with was acting like... Uh, they got this thing and they have like they control their emotions very very well so they know what they want and they tend to like control themselves very very well is what I see and I do definitely see that they went cold on you or they kind of like this seems this seems to me like somebody who's, who likes to be in control of the situation okay yeah, look at that. High Priestess, Justice, Three of Wands. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces, with an Aries, with a Libra. So I feel like Capricorn. Um, this person doesn't communicate too well, okay? And... Um, this is the most like bizarre storyline that I'm getting here, but it is what I'm getting. So I'm going to tell you that Capricorn and that is that this person kind of thinks that they're doing the right thing. Um, they're doing the right thing by not talking to you or by hiding the way they feel towards you. Like this is like, I feel like they want to pull you in. What does this person feel about Capricorn Hierophant okay <clears throat> Hierophant could mean a lot of things oh so now all of a sudden they see your value Capricorn um, by being silent I feel like they were thinking that they're making a right decision here but to me this looks like they kind of regret something here so, yeah, look at that. They regret, I feel like they want to make up for it. Look at that, five of pentacles and the uh, star. Could be Aquarius, Taurus. I feel like this person wants to make up for whatever they did to you, okay? Whatever the way they behaved. And for some of you, they even see a commitment with you. But the thing is that they haven't communicated like this with you or they haven't shown you this side of them. So you're not going to trust it. And you're going to be like, um, I don't think so because the way you treated me in the past was the opposite of what you're showing me now is what I'm getting. So this person is going to be very sweet and they may even apologize. But that's going to, you know, confuse you and you, you, you know, second guess this because you'll be like, you didn't treat me like this in the past. You know what I mean? King of Cups. There is love. There is love. But why did they become distant if they love you? Let's see. I hope it's not, oh, I was just going to say, I hope it's not Three of Swords. So Capricorn, you think that this love always brings you sadness. You think that this love always breaks your heart. Okay. You think that every time this person comes towards you, it's a mess. Okay. You think that, yeah, that's what you think. That every time this person comes towards you, it's messy and... um yeah, you got heartbroken. There was a lot of sadness in the past that I see. Oh my god. 
you know what capricorn you want this person to buckle up you want this person to own up to their mistakes you know you want you possibly do want an apology if they want to take things forward with you otherwise you're not really going to give into this so you do see them as somebody who's very like who basically hurt you in the past and you do see through it like you see it no you don't see through it but you see it you see it see it you know you you can see through their sweet words is what i mean so you do see that this person i feel like when they talk to you capricorn you know what when this person talks to you you're gonna like consider their behavior in the past and then make a decision based off of it because you know that they hurt you and you know that this could be fake or you, yeah you're not going to be trusting them right off the bat ten of cups there does seem to be happiness Ooh, three of pentacles and the sun nine of pentacles there's a comeback around there's definitely a comeback around yeah i do see that let's see what's going to be the outcome for capricorn okay so let's see what's going to be the outcome of the situation for capricorn i do see a comeback around but we'll clarify that oops so you totally view this situation as a disaster and oops okay so there is somebody coming in to communicate with you slowly but surely however capricorn there's another thing that i'm getting with that wheel of fortune and now the ace of pentacles is that your finances could be improving majorly okay that's for some of you who want to ask about finances okay <laughs> the, uh, yeah for people who want to ask about finances if this is not the situation that you're bothered about i do see in this reading that there is something that's going to work out in your favor uh, I feel like there's a work-related issue that's going to get resolved, okay? Or whatever finance-related issue. There you go. Now, let's see. What is the outcome of for Capricorn with this person? The death. Scorpio energy. I feel like that's you. That's coming from you. Because you don't trust them enough. Yeah, Five of Cups, the Hermit. You're going to think about it. I feel like you're going to think about it, Capricorn. You're going to think about it before giving in to this. What is the energy? For Capricorn, what is there to come for Capricorn, please? What is there to come for Capricorn? What is there to come for Capricorn? What is there? Okay. Oh my god, this is a tower second time. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like Capricorn, um, Queen of Swords. I feel like you will avoid this person because you think it's a disaster and you don't want to go back to the place where you came from. So you might ignore them to work on yourself, your finances, goals, where your focus seems to be right now because you think that it's a disaster. The fool again. High priestess. Capricorn, you're trusting your intuition about this person and your intuition is telling that there's something up here, okay? You're not trusting them enough to do this with them however i do see them coming around to be honest i feel like you want to give up on this and work on your like bring balance back in your life because you might have felt out of you know balance dealing with this person yeah you're really going to second guess um everything that they're going to say basically they uh, they might even show you that um they're very interested in you, you know? Yeah. Let go of control issues. Some of you are really trying to do everything all at once, Capricorn. Let go. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. You are doing that. <laughs> On their side, they get give your relationship a chance. Healing family issues. Love and flirt together. Okay. I feel like this person's going to be flirting with you. Or maybe they love you. I don't know. You would know. You would know because you have dealt with this person. You can understand them better, where they're coming from. But 
this seems to be like a lot of sweet words, a lot of expression of love that's that's going to come towards you all at once. And it's not going to give you the time to, you know, think about it. For some of you, somebody wants to marry you, to be honest. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to ignore that Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles just because this person was bad towards you in the past. Somebody around you is seeming to be interested in you for marriage, okay? Who is this person? Why is the wedding here? Why is the wedding here? I kind of want to see that. Ooh, there is long-term long stability coming towards you. Uh -huh. Or a new beginning in love that's going to be very stable and good for you. This situation involves marriage, okay? Like, look at that. Look at that, Capricorn. They see you as their spouse. What is Capricorn going to do about it? You're going to take your time. Yeah, you're going to take your time before you say yes. Because look at this. You will remember all the time that they were being immature towards you. But they are rushing in to communicate with you, Capricorn. Pay, att pay attention to the red flags. I know that. You will not ignore red flags. Now, for some of you, this wedding could mean that you're married to this person, okay? That could be the case as well. Anyway, so Capricorn, that's it. That was your reading. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.